Raven Project is brought to you by Big Time. Attract, develop, grow. Case IH. Rethink productivity. Hawk Optics. Vision accomplished. Deer Grow. Better food plots, bigger deer. Scentlock. The most effective whitetail gear ever made. Better find myself some camouflage. Getting some clover put down. We're putting uh, some big time foundation clover down right now. We've come in here, we've rolled this, packed it good, got a nice firm seed bed. We're broadcasting it on top and then we'll come back and roll it one more time on top of it. And then we'll come in with straight wheat and drill the wheat. And the reason that we do that is the first year on clover, sometimes that wheat in the spring will come up and actually be kind of a cover crop, but also keep the weeds and the, the grass choked out of your clover. So you come back in early summer, bush hog it, and you got lush clover underneath, works pretty good. You know, we knew going into this weekend that this was our last few days that we had to completely wrap up everything we needed to before the fall. But leading up to this, the last two or three weeks, I mean, we've literally been spraying food plots, cutting food plots, burning food plots, disking, rolling, getting things prepped as much as we could and even got some food plots planted prior to the camera guys coming in because you literally can't get it all done in a few days. I mean, we're putting in 30 some odd food plots across our properties. So it's a few week process. It's definitely, it's definitely not just a few days. It's a big boy right here. This is a field we call the Griffin field. It's about right at, right around four acres. Dustin's, he's drilling wheat. We come in and planted some foundation clover on that side of the road. There's about an acre and a half in there. And usually we'll roll it down, broadcast our clover, roll it again, and then come back with a no-till drill and just drill straight, straight wheat into it because you want, the, you want those seeds at a different depth. The clover just barely needs contact with the dirt. So we plant it very, very shallow and then come back and plant the wheat a little bit deeper. Well, this year we made an investment and we bought a no-till drill. This thing is the cat's ass and I'm gonna be the one operating it. I don't trust anybody to touch this. Man, this new no-till drill has definitely saved a lot of time and made our lives easier. We upgraded, last year we had a little six-foot one, we went to an eight-foot one this year, and just, just that little bit of difference makes all the difference in the world whenever you're planting several food plots and trying to get over as much ground as we are. We're still broadcasting a few smaller plots, but man, this no-till drill is a game changer. We're planting a couple of the new blends from Big Time that we'll have out next year, uh, the fall annual, which is a mix of, of several different seeds, and then the Brassica 2 mix, which is a new mix that we're planting, and it's primarily radishes. It's heavy on the radishes, and then the fall annuals, it's got everything from peas to radishes um, to some cereal grains in it, so we're pumped up to try a couple of these new blends in here, and this is a plot where it's big enough where we can get several different things in and kind of be able to tell what the deer is preferring at different times of the year. I think Dustin, let's put that, let's put some of that last stand in this hole right here. Okay. This is about an acre right here. We're gonna put this last stand on the right side of the plot. This is gonna be our late season. These are late season brassicas. This is your rape, your kale, your turnips, everything that the deer prefer and that'll be palatable in that later part of the season. When we talk about palatability on deer and, and these food plots, you know, it's just like humans. We eat different stuff, tastes different to us at certain times, and it's no different. They prefer these food plots at different times of the year because the plant actually tastes different at different times of the year. Your turnips and brassicas like that are gonna be better the later it gets. When they get frost on them, they turn to sugar, and the deer prefer them more. So we want something in here. This is a big enough plot in the, kind of the center part of the farm. We wanna hold deer in here year round. So that's exactly how we're setting it up today. Man, these army worms are ridiculous this year. Everybody across our whole area have been reporting back that army worms are just smoking their fields, smoking their pastures. And sure enough, we get out, we find army worms. They're already starting to hit our food plots. So the only thing that you can do really in that situation is the chemical for the army worms is not cheap by any means, but neither is having to replant food plots plus the time it takes to replant them. So the only thing that we can do in this case is just burn these suckers to the ground, hopefully. 
We're spraying a chemical called the siege for these army worms, and I'm telling you, man, they're as bad as the freaking Taliban on food plots. These suckers come in here, and they'll literally turn a lush, green, healthy food plot into dirt within a couple days. And they've already started working on a couple of them on this farm, so we're putting it down at about eight ounces per acre. And we're about to nuke them little suckers out of here because if we don't, I mean, the input costs on these food plots, by the time you get fertilizer, you get seed, you do all the, you the work, your diesel. I mean, you got a lot of money in these things for these little suckers to come in here and just wipe them out. So the army worm spray is not cheap by any means, but it's also not cheap to have to come back in here and redo these things. Plus it takes a lot of time. So we're about to light them up here in a second. Army worms, man, I don't even know where to start. I freaking hate those things. You can spend a month out here working on food plots and they eat it all in a day and a half and it's wasted. I mean, I, I literally, I hate them. That's all I got to say about them. I mean, they're like a little freaking army of the devils. It looks like milk, but I bet it don't taste like it. Putting eight ounces per acre, we're running about 20 to 22 and a half gallons of water per acre. So that tank full right there should do about four and a half acres. The Raven Project is brought to you by Grizzly Coolers, adventure guaranteed for a lifetime. Precisely. Men, your land, your legacy. Hunt stand. Hunt like a pro. Baker Implement, trusted equipment of the Raven Project.